the heat this week and this morning uh, we are tracking some patchy dense fog in areas across eastern Nebraska and southwest. I can see visibility under a mile in York to Kama uh, reporting zero visibility in Shenandoah right now. For the most part, the metro looking good. A slight reduction of visibility in Fremont. Though uh, Bellevue right now just picked up it off it now reporting a three quarter mile visibility. So it's not going to be widespread fog, but uh, expect some drop in visibility during the morning drive. This is a good look for Omaha. Uh, a telling sign is we can see the silhouette of the towers downtown from a Methodist Women's Hospital camera. Typically, when we get some of that widespread fog in Omaha, you can barely see the Village Point area. So at least right now, things are looking good for most of the metro, though. Just keep in mind, you may run into some uh, slight reduction of visibility for your morning drive. Temperature 70 degrees, dew point 68. Ooh. That's a rough start to the morning, especially with the lack of a substantial breeze. Outside of Omaha, most temperatures are in the 60s, and that's where dew points are sitting, too. So the air very saturated, the lack of a breeze, not really stirring up the air. So really, we could see that fog stick around through around 8 o'clock, but most of it should lift uh, by 9. So watch out for that for the morning drive. Otherwise, get the sunglasses and the short sleeves ready and get ready to sweat today. Temperatures back in the 90s, and once you factor in that humidity, it'll feel more like the mid to upper 90s later on this afternoon. Very quiet across Nebraska and Iowa. Hard to find cloud cover. We got one system moving to the east coast today and more showers uh, closer to the Canadian border. That jet stream, well, it's moving north again. So here's the setup this week. We got a, a, a ridge of high pressure building in the jet stream up to our north, so that's going to keep the heat locked in. So several days with highs in the 90s and possibly a few days we could flirt with 100, but also with the heat, that means the lack of rain. We're going to stay dry. No real great chance for rain over the next several days. So here's a closer look at Storm Predictor timing things out. Any fog early on will lift. Sunshine by lunchtime, mid to upper 80s. There's our climb into the 90s. So again, take some breaks in the shade. Drink plenty of water. Uh, with those temperatures climbing into the 90s. Fairly quiet overnight, just a couple clouds. South breeze will pick up tomorrow and we'll see temperatures spike mid to upper 90s before this front comes through. It looks like cold front, but it's not really going to cool us down. Just flip the winds out of the northwest and bring some drier air in, so at least the humidity won't be terrible the uh, second half of Tuesday. And I say a slight break from the high heat because we're not really cooling down behind it. We'll go from 98 on Tuesday. That's why we got the impact icon in down to 93 on Wednesday and then the high heat back Thursday, Friday, Saturday. A couple of those days we could see those heat index values climb into the triple digits and signs right now indicating that this stretch of hot weather will continue next week, which basically would be the rest of July. So